Hi, this is Yana, it's Reverb Audio. And actually, do you think it's going to be a cat video? No, this is going to be a tone arm video. So, let's see. What do I need? So, we have here, this is my first wooden arm that I have made. Kintaro is checking it out. Yes, this is a 20 year old wooden arm. And this was the very first one that I have made. Just put it down like this, maybe here, and uh, basically I, I designed it so it got its uh, size, the length of it, and then rough shape based on Rega's RB300 arm, so it's because it substituted the RB300 on my Rega, and I made it piece of pine wood so this is a pine arm and then at the end I just painted it I forgot what I used to paint it uh, with anyway so as you see it has like a base and here that's like a, a, a brass screw is attached and that's where I put the counterweight on so it has a metal counterweight and it has these arms you see on the side that's sticking out here's one and there's another one you might remember the Charlie Chaplin movies and uh, there's like a, a tightrope and Charlie Chaplin is walking on a tightrope between two tall buildings and when he's using the pole to help him balance this is some that was my idea behind that to add that pole to help stabilize but they do more than that I added the stabilization there because as you see these are also brass screws and if you screw it in more or out then you can alter the uh, the balance so so you can make the arm tip a little bit more one way or the other and that's because this is a uni pivot design so you see there's a dot there that's where it, it sits on the, on the uni pivot point and then it can balance freely on, in any direction and you want it to, to sit uh, perfectly level so that, that the horizontal tracking angle is really aligned to the player I mean to the, to the record surface and you can change the horizontal tracking by adjusting the screws so that's how it works and uh, and you see the the head is a little bit at an angle so it's not straight so that helps to get the right the correct tracking angle and as you see the mounting of the cartridge is uh, is is through that that wooden piece and i'm using nylon screws to to mount the cartridge instead of metal screws and and yes it's a softer con more pliable connection but at least I'm not getting any of the metallic resonances from metallic screws. So anyway, that, that, that's one thing. And another thing that you see, there's a layer of Teflon tape at the neck. That's, that's one tweak that, uh, that Stu worked out for music instruments, for guitars, for violins, even for flute that when at the neck part you add a layer of teflon tape that's going to increase that music instrument's properties and uh, and th that works not just on basic instruments but on instruments of the highest level so we have tried it on really high quality guitars uh, we tried it on violin and we even tried it on Lauren's flute and, and Loren, he is the second flute, or he was the second flute player of the Philadelphia Orchestra, and he has a truly magnificent flute. What's happening there? Come on, playtime. Lions, hey, hey, hey. Lions fighting there. So let's get back here after watching those lions over there. Okay, yeah, that's good, it's done. Um, where was I? At the flute. So 
I have a story at that time when we did that tweaking, uh, when we did Lawrence food. It was just a totally astonishing experience and, and it also involved a cat story. And, uh, and anyway, that's, that story is for another time. So now I'm just showing this arm because I'm going to rewire it. So you see there's that tiny wire barely visible running from there, from the connections, runs along the body. First it's held there by the Teflon wire and then that's, that's a piece of parafilm and another piece of parafilm and another one and there it exits the body. And, and I just cut it off from the base and, and, and the wire here that's gauge 34 uh, magnet wire, that's copper wire and uh, they are twisted pairs per channel and i'm going to change that for silver wire but i have bare silver wire and of course i cannot uh, do anything like this so i will do something different but i'm not sure how it will work because the surface is already painted so anyway i will do some experimenting with that and share with you and until then we have the lions who have already quieted down and you see they have stolen half a pair of socks it's over there that orange thing uh, it was their trophy so thank you for tuning in i hope this was a little bit motivational for all of you if you are wondering actually i haven't talked about that the cartridge it's a it's a bands cartridge it's called the h2o it's one of the basic uh, bands cartridges and despite it being a cheap cartridge it has a wooden body and has an amazing tone so if you want to listen to cello for example this despite being uh, in, in the lower price category maybe i don't know if now it's uh, possible to buy one this is uh, like a 18 year old cartridge it still works beautifully there's nothing wrong with it uh, and and you can keep the cartridges last forever basically by keeping uh, the stylus screen so get stylus cleaner and use a, a, a fine brush and after every record clean the stylus screen the tip and it will live for a very very long time you can get out like 10,000 hours of play easily from a, a cartridge if you keep the stylus clean remember you also have to keep your teeth clean otherwise they they rot and you have gum disease all the problems and you will lose your teeth same thing with the stylus the stylus does very similar work as your teeth Keep both happy and both will live long. Please like and subscribe and have an amazing day or an amazing evening. Like these two cats are here having a fantastic time right now after the play time is over. Now I read they are ready to hit the rack. Bye bye.